Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be watching a video of Asia's Phoenix, Miss Morissette Ammon, performing a Beyonce classic entitled Halo. Thank you Bruce for letting me know about this video. So before we get into it, I would just like to share with everyone a shop that I discovered in Shopee. It's called Great city.ph for any of your household needs please feel free to check out their store they have great quality products online and so far i am quite satisfied with my purchases again great city.ph at shopee at the same time i am inviting everyone to follow me on my instagram account at max underscore two and if you are here for the very first time, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Two. Most of you already know that I will be pausing this video in between to give my honest observations and comments. So if you want to watch the entire performance without any interruption, without my comments, please head to my description box and I'll put the original video link there. By the way, I am watching this video from the channel of Queen Morissette Ammon. Another option is you can watch the original video first before coming back to this one for my comments. All right, so let's start the video. Number one, she is just so adorable. She has this personality that is very likable. And how is it possible that she looks younger and younger each time I see her? It's like she's aging backwards. She looks so fresh. By the way, I'm loving her background wherever she is. It's very calming. Number two, I see a guitar just like what Bruce told me in my comment section. So this is perfect because I've seen her play the keyboard before, but never the guitar. This should be good. Before she even starts to sing, let me just quickly comment on her guitar skills. Has she been playing the guitar all her life? Because she looks extremely comfortable playing it, and it sounds beautiful, flawless almost. What a talented young lady. Remember those walls of Baby, they're down. From that cutesy baby voice she did in the intro to giving us full Beyonce. Come on, it's not a secret that she is a top-notch singer. But I never knew that she can morph her voice like that. Also, I believe this is my first time to hear a Beyonce song from her. Now, even that low note, that low note was good. A C-sharp 3, I think. A bit airy, but still sounded great. Okay, let's talk about this really quickly. She's seated on the ground, hugging 
a huge, a huge guitar at the same time bending over and reaching down to, I assume, check out the chords uh, that she is playing, yet she was still able to keep her voice very stable. Now that's what we call control. Her diaphragm is very well supported. Let's continue. I'm surrounded by my own brains. Baby, I can see a halo. No, you're my saving grace. You're everything I need and more. It's written all over your face. Baby, I can feel your halo. Gray won't fade away. Rich and resonant mid range. Strong growl, but not too loud, which is just perfect for me. Now, if I shut my eyes, she really sounds like Beyonce, which is crazy. She sounds like Beyonce singing an acoustic version of Halo. Multitasking at its best. More set, more set, more set. How to be you. I think that's a phrase a lot of Pinoys use to show someone admiration. How to be you. You know, just like the original version, she is giving us a lot of sweet tones as well as aggressive ones. When combined, they just sound so heavenly. And again, I've heard her sing a lot of times, but this is my first time to hear her sound like Beyonce, so it's really crazy. Again, as a reminder, to those who want to watch uh, the entire video without a lot of pauses like what I'm doing right now, please head to my description box and click on the original video link, okay? You can see that she is not very comfortable in that position. The way she's shifting her position must have been uncomfortable for the back and the bum sitting on the ground. But again, she didn't allow any of that to affect the quality of her voice. Not even a bit. And that's impressive. Just as we expected. From the very start, she's giving us a flawless rendition. Was there any doubt? Not really. This is more that we're talking about here. She always delivers. Let's continue. That was just too good. Everything perfectly executed. The riffs, the shifts from chest to head, the growl, the emotional intensity, add to that her mad guitar skills. She can be her own band. And to tell you honestly, I know this song. I've heard it several times, but I'm not familiar with the lyrics, but she's enunciating the words so well that I am now 
hearing and appreciating the words. Let's not forget that she is doing all these in an open field with no microphone. So imagine her voice having to compete with a huge uncontrolled environment. And yet her voice is still as strong as ever. Her voice was so well projected that we don't even hear the ambient noise around her. As I've said in the past, I'm not sure if you still remember. Every time I see Morissette perform, I realize how life can be so unfair. How can so much talent be in one single person? Crazy, right? Not to discredit the hard work I'm sure she has put in to achieve all these. But let's face it. You have to have um, this innate talent and musicality to be able to achieve all these. And if only I can have just a fourth of that musicality, I will be really, really contented and happy. So nice. Watching her is an absolute delight. How many ways can I say great and talented? I am really running out of adjectives to describe her. If she wasn't playing the guitar and stopping a few times, she could have fooled me because I would have thought that it was a studio recording. The quality of her voice is just so impeccable. It's unbelievable. It sounds like it's edited, but obviously it's not. Yes. Yay! <laughs> and she is back to her adorable self. I love seeing her like this, casually doing her thing, entertaining her adoring fans. As casual as this performance is, I really think it is one of her most perfect renditions. Am I right to say that she is the only local artist who is consistently entertaining her fans online? I think so, but please do correct me down below at the comment section if I am wrong. But I remember some people telling me that she does these online sessions every single week. Am I right? Do I think it's good? No, I think it's excellent. Really? She could have a one-woman show without a band and we will still be lining up to watch her and be mesmerized by her immense talent. If you agree, please give this video a thumbs up. At the same time, please don't forget to share your thoughts down below at the comment section because I'd love to hear from you. 
With that, thank you all for watching, and please don't forget to hit subscribe, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Pew. Stay safe and happy everyone. Till next time, bye!